race or sex is inherently superior or inferior to another race or sex. An individual, by virtue of an individual's race or sex, is inherently privileged, so we can't talk about white privilege. Uh, racist, sexist, or oppressive, whether consciously or subconsciously, subconsciously, I'm assuming, uh, sponsored means we can't talk about biases, which we all have. Uh, an individual should be discriminated against or receive adverse treatment because of the individual's race or sex. An individual's moral character is determined by the individual's race or sex. An individual, by virtue of the individual's race or sex, bears responsibility for actions committed in the past by other members of the same race or sex. This is to prevent white folks in particular from being told they have anything to do with enslavement. Uh, this is an individual should feel discomfort guilt, anguish, or another form of psychological distress solely because of an individual's race or sex, a meritocracy which does not exist because a society that committed genocide against Native Americans enslaved black African American people for over 250 years cannot be a meritocracy because we did all start at the same place, but you will not be able to say a meritocracy is inherently racist or sexist or designed by a particular race or sex to oppress another sex despite the fact that in the United States of America's Constitution that we all swear in both on, black people who are considered three-fifths of a person, only rich white men could vote, not women, but you tell us that those things we wouldn't be able to talk about. Uh, the state of the United States is fundamentally or irredeemably racist or sexist, and that's the part I would like to talk about, if you don't mind, and the reason I'll vote against this legislation is actually because I do believe this state, this country is redeemable. But it is not going to be redeemed or resurrected if we allow the status quo to persist that silences different ideas. It will not be redeemed if we do not have the courage to look at ourselves and our institutions in the face and demand that they do better, it will not be redeemed if we operate business as usual and not do the work of justice. America is redeemable. The state of Tennessee is redeemable. But if we do not do the work of repenting through true education, by telling the truth, or as Memphian I have been well said, shining the light of truth upon our institutions and upon our lived experiences, which has made it much more likely for you to stand there than for me. If we do not tell the truth about our past and our present injustices, the state of Tennessee the United States of America will not be redeemed. This is the work that we should be committed to, not banning people's ability to think critically about how we got to where we are, because we're trying to preserve a status quo that has hurt us. But I've got good news. No matter what you do, people always rise. Thank you, Representative Campbell.